come here because I had said that I might do a brief little tutorial. So I'm experimenting to see how this works. So it is my fantastical February. I'm working in Magimorphia today. I wanted to start off by just showing you everything that I have out that I will be working with. So uh, I have my handy dandy um, pencil sharpener, which is from Morning Glory. Uh, yeah, Morning Glory. Uh, it's got the two different holes in it for the different sizes, which I really like of the to get more of a point there or just a general sharpening. And then I have, here is what I carry with me all the time in my, whenever I travel or just in my happy bag that I have here at the house, which at some point I might show you that. Um, and I've already picked out the colors for this page that I'm gonna be doing. So let me show you the page so that you know where the, the colors are going. Um, I've already shown this previously as what I'm going to be working on. So let's get this up there. So we're going to be working on this lovely skull and he is, I'm going for the gold look. So the colors that I'm going to be using are uh, burnt ochre, uh, olive green, let's see that's yellow ochre, and lemon yellow. Oh, and one more brown, which is my terracotta, and then my cream, which if you look at the length of this thing, you can tell it is uh, getting quite short, actually. So, and then my sharpener that I'm going to need. And also I'm going to be doing, I'm going to show you how I do my wash. Oh, there we go. Nice focus. Uh, so with the acrylic paint that I bought from Target. And then of course I'm going to need some type of whoop, one of my brushes. So I'll probably uh, probably be just using this one. He's got a little haywire. I probably need to trim him. But this one, um, this is just a, a fairly inexpensive. It's a Royal and Lang Nickel. I don't spend a lot of money on any of these brushes, but I like it because it's got this nice guard that kind of covers my fingers, which I really, really like. So I'm going to put this over to the side and let me get started to show you with the wash. So this is the process. I'm not going to do the whole page at this point, but I did want to start off with just the process. So as you can tell, I've already done some gold and so I'm going to just highlight this one right here to really show you that this one right here that it's not a really heavy handed gold that I'm using. Now I learned this technique from watching YouTube videos. Dee Dee Willingham does some amazing acrylic washes and she had, you know, I've watched so many of hers and it just gave me the feeling I could do it, that there wasn't, you know, and it's, it's a coloring book for goodness sakes. That's why we want, you know, these are not great works of art necessarily, but it's my, place to be able to play. So here we go. So I've got some of the gold. I just dipped my pen in or pencil, uh, paintbrush and I put it on here. So there's the gold itself. So that is 100%. It would be very heavy. It would be very uh, thick. In this case, I don't, I just want a sheen of gold to go on the spot. So now I'm loading up with as much water as I can and then I will bring this back over and you'll see I water this way down. So as you can tell it's getting really watery. So because the idea is I don't want a heavy handed. Now my brush is really wet because I've been loading up so much water. So I'm going to dab it a little bit over here. I'm going to put my cut this down here and then I'm going to bring in and I just use a Kleenex, I mean you can use a paper towel, a Kleenex to dab that just a little bit and that way it's drier. So then I come back in, I'll get just a little bit, in fact I'll probably even put some off to the side, and then I just color in using my brush. Now if you look, put that over there. So I want you to be able, I'm hoping I can get you to see this. There is a bit of color going on there. It is not so dark that it covers any of the coloring lines, the black lines for my guide for shading and, 
and his artwork, but there is a bit of a gold look that has gone on to here. So it's just a little bit, but that shows you, and you can see how dry this brush has to be. Now, I am not having any problems with bleed through doing this on this Kirby. He has pretty good uh, thick paper. However, you are getting the bending, the warping, the crinkling, um, but I'm fine with that because I'm having so much fun. So I have done that on a lot of these mechanical pieces and I will go through and continue to do it on other ones now that I've got the paints out. And another lady that I watch, uh, Bunny Designs, uh, her name is Heather and she does a lot of watercoloring in her books and I've learned a lot from her as well and again just giving it a try just said you know what I'm just going to do it and I'm doing that with confidence because she just makes you feel like you can do it in anything and she's a fantastic artist. Um, both of these ladies are amazing artists themselves, but they make artwork or doing art, especially in our coloring books, so, so accessible, and it just makes you want to give it a try. So I really, really have so much to thank for them for me being able to watch them and be able to learn these different techniques. So that's the gold wash that I do. I also, as you know, like to keep my list of the colors that I'm using and so that stays over here on the page as well. Now, again my list is good because my list kind of tells me what order I've, I've done them in to create this and that's important too because I have sometimes went in and done it in different orders and I'm not liking the end results. So the first one that I should have picked up should have been burnt ochre here. Uh, let me find it. And I didn't at the very beginning. So right here you can see I picked up some green. But all I'm going to do with the burnt ochre, I'm gonna move that out of the way, is you come in and you find one of the gold spots. So here we go. And I'm just going to start bringing them in and I'm just going right over what's already been washed. It's a gold wash. Now I'm not doing the spots we just did because I want to make sure they're dry before I start messing with it. And this helps so because it's not going to bother with the integrity. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of ochre first all the way around. following some of these and then I start thinking about shadows where would shadows naturally occur where would rust accumulate you know in any crevice and different places you know to bring out the different parts is important and this is ever so light now these Prismacolors I really like they put down a lot of of color fairly easily especially over these washes um, they really hold their own and they add texture even to the, the wash itself and the piece. So here I've got some dark spots, you know, that I wanna highlight. And here I'm just going around the edges. It softens the black line because it gives it a, almost like a shade shape. And so it starts giving more of a three-dimensional look. You know, but a lot of this has to do with Kirby's amazing artwork. So. so then the next thing that I'm going to do is according to my recipe here, and this is what I call these, these are my coloring recipe, once I experimented and found out what I liked, I need to go find my terracotta, this is my other brown, alright, and then I'm going to go back in there, and I'm just going to go in and do some of the darker bits, you get a different tone in there just a little bit. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot because this is the darker. So these are more the shadows. That more bronze than yellow at this point. That's really what it is. Now I'm going to do a little bit more of a zoom 
in. See if I can do this. Okay, that's really going to be about it. So that right there, it's not as gold. But one of the things is, is when I'm thinking of some of the shadows, I want to put a little bit of green in. And I found that green really kind of gives it that dirty, grungy, not perfectly shiny looking. And so I'll put a little bit of green, particularly in these darker areas, and then fade it out into these other areas. Again, kind of going in those same little spots that we've seen before. And then this is where it's going to change. So this is where we need to add the gold. So the color that I'm using is actually a quite a bright yellow. And it's because I want that to hit all the highlights and then I'll come in with a little bit deeper yellow. So if I'm, I just put this over everything, it gives everything that little bit of a yellow tinge. It's a pretty bright one. It's not my grungy that I'm kind of going for, so I want to be careful. I, but I'm also using this kind of as a blender at this point too. And so as you layer and layer, you know, but yellow is our main color that we're hoping for. So let's hit a couple more of these up here. Probably need to do some sharpening on these pencils. But as you can see, it's slowly turning a bit more gold. Now that is very bright compared to these other ones. And the way that I tone it down is that then I reach, according to my recipe, for my yellow ochre. And I'm going to go back in and tone this down and leave just a few of those bright yellow highlights, just a hair. But this is how I start getting it to kind of be a little bit dingier, a little bit grungier yellow. It's still a little bit bright, I can see that, but I also know that the green is a little too bright. But I'll keep going back and playing, but that, and then ultimately, but I want to get this done. So here we go. Let me do my touching up and my fussing, because this is what I do. I fuss. how I kind of blend them all together because you shouldn't have any really harsh bits that are more gold red or terracotta or green and I use this cream and the cream is a really great blending tool for whenever you're working on golds like this and I am gonna end up going over everything it tones down any of that bright bright yellow and like I said it really blends in all the other colors and that little bit of sparkle from the wash is still coming through, but I'm actually covering up almost the entire wash with color at this point, but it's a great base color for me to work at. So there we go. What I thought I would do is continue on with this piece. I've kind of changed things so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna continue doing the, this piece right here so you can see me continuing on. And what I'm going to do is I will put the colors that I use as I use them up on the screen after I get done filming this. And you can see what this full piece will look like. Now remember, this is all done with that gold wash first uh, that I've already shown you how to do. And now I'm just gonna go in and use my Prisma Premier pencils.
you go. We've went from basically this very, very pale, see if I can get one in here. Uh, sorry, that's my parchment paper. So this very pale wash of gold to actually a deep gold, kind of tarnished gold. So that is the series in which, and I will be going into all my gold and doing the same. Uh, hopefully you found this somewhat at least educational in that maybe these are color combinations you might want to play with. Again, you know, any success I have here has so much to do with the incredible illustration that I'm working on and then just finding those colors that kind of work. But I do really like having that bit of a wash, which you can see coming through in some of these and then just there. Uh, for a base, I just find it uh, it really adds to the depth whenever you have that. And again, that technique of using a acrylic paint, oh, sorry, I'm trying to get this in there, an acrylic paint for um, uh, as a wash with you know a lot of water is from Dee Dee Willingham. I will link below her channel. She has so many different mixed medias that she does. Uh, definitely for you to be able to kind of see where the inspiration for this. This is not anything I came up with and I am really enjoying it and it makes for coloring and using both you know paint and brushes and just your prismas. So again this is all we're using for this is basically one, two, three, four, five, six pencils themselves, the Prismacolor, and then the acrylic paint um, that is, you know, just washed with some water and a very inexpensive brush, just a very, very inexpensive brush. So, you know, really and truly, it's it's not rocket science, but it is a lot of fun. So that's it for my first tutorial. I will continue working on this. You'll probably see it pop in every once in a while. If I get to my next color where I'm going to change, because I'm still not sure what I'm going to do here and on these, I'm just doing all the, the gold metallic bits first. Um, I might pop in so you can see what I do next. Thanks for watching and keep coloring those pages.